disease or disorder? He goes, no, it's a disease. And I said, is that really what you believe or is that what you were trained to believe? And he goes, no, I believe it. And I said, then tell me what other disease can be treated by group therapy. You know, I love the trend of moving away from the term alcoholic into the appropriate language, which is alcohol use disorder. Back when I was drinking, I was suffering from alcohol use disorder. That's a very broad spectrum. And we were all on it. Many of our listeners are on that spectrum. You don't have to qualify to change your relationship with alcohol. And I think that's very liberating to say, you know what, it could be worse, but oof, I think it's bad enough. I'm going to do something about it. And so <clears throat> you're right, Brenda, when, when I go to the doctor, my medical history will show that in the past, I suffered from alcohol use disorder. Through the work that you're doing here, that all of you are doing here, that, can be, that will be back in your medical history. It does not ever have to be present in your life. You do not have to have active alcohol use disorder. And a big part of what we do in here is understanding the why. You know, how did this happen? What is this drug? What is this substance? And breaking free of it. Yes, Steve. I just wanted to, because uh, this is an interesting topic, um, calling it a disease or an alcohol use disorder. The, do you know what the DMS-10 is? It's a diagnostic manual. Mm -hmm. Um, it is medically classified as a use disorder. Um, I believe that people throw around the term disease or, or, or not outside of you saying you have a disease or your doctor says you have a disease. I think the purpose of it is to um, soften the stigma, maybe. It, it, then you can say, well, I, I have a disease. and. Um, I actually asked an addiction medicine guy, um, disease or disorder? He goes, no, it's a disease. And I said, is that really what you believe? Or is that what you were trained to believe? And he goes, no, I believe it. And I said, then tell me what other disease can be treated by group therapy? Hmm. And he said, well, psychiatric disorders. I said, Seriously, why are drugs the first line of treatment that um, it, it just it, it really in the in the grand scheme of things, does it really matter what you call it? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. But Veronica is completely correct. That is how it's classified. It isn't classified as disease. Mm -hmm. It is an interesting debate. And, uh, you know, the way I, I, I talk about it is if. We are driving on a mountainside road and there's a mudslide and our, our car slides down into the valley. Are we going to sit there and analyze how we got down there and name it and describe it in detail and all the things, or are we going to figure out what we're going to do next? That's what I love about coaching. It's like, okay, you know what? Alcohol got its hooks into you. There's a myriad of reasons. Potato, potato, alcohol use disorder, spectrum, disease, choice model, whatever it is. It was impacting your life in a negative way. And so what do we do now? What do you want your life to look like? So, yes, I agree. It's such an interesting topic.